this is Nick and today I'm doing a round off back tuck tutorial. Alright, the round off back tuck has two prerequisites. You've got the cartwheel and you've got the back tuck. I'm going to teach you round offs today. A cartwheel looks like this. A back tuck looks like this. And a round off is basically a running cartwheel except you land with two feet. I'll show you now. off you're running start here this is the first stage second stage is here third stage is here that's where you release oh, let me slow mo caption a clip for you real fast The purpose of the round off is to get you speed. A back tuck off of a round off is much easier than a standing back tuck. A handspring off of a round off is much easier than a standing back handspring. Everything just becomes easier because the round off is meant to gain you momentum, making everything you do after it easier. Arabians, folds, whip backs, whatever you want to do. Um, Alright, so as a lot of people have probably learned, being able to do a round off, being able to do a back tuck, being able to do both, and being able to do a round off back tuck are very different things because the most difficult part of the round off back tuck is linking the round off to the back tuck. What most people do, most people's mistake is they pause. They pause before they set, throw their arms up in the air, push their shoulders out, and it looks like this. One, two. It's all one move. These are the two main errors people make. They pause, or they don't set. Both of them could end up to horrible things. Broken ankles, etc. Uh, I actually hurt my ankle faking a bad round off back tuck just then. So, uh, let's see. Don't pause. The key thing is you want to be able to do your round off fast. You want to run at it. And most people are scared to do this. Practice on mats, practice with a spring floor, practice with whatever. Um, I guess by now it's probably time to show you a good round off back tuck, so here it is. Remember, just like the normal back tuck, you want your momentum to carry you up after you set. Fling your arms straight up, just like you would for a back tuck. You're not trying to go backwards. Here's an example of a bad set and a good set. Don't get bummed out if just because you have a cartwheel and a back tuck, you don't master this technique in one day. It takes a long time to get your round off back tuck to be extremely effective. It took me a while to even get to the point where I am at right now. And I know a ton of people who can get their back tucks off their round off so much higher than I can. The keys are just, you want your round off to be good, so you want momentum. You want your hands to come down at the same time, you want your legs to hit the ground at the same time, and you want to both get up on your set. Don't go backwards, because you're gonna suck if you go backwards. Like seriously, you're just gonna suck. Um, I used to suck. Sean's gonna say I still do suck. But I don't think I suck. I don't know, I kinda suck. But it doesn't matter. If you can do round off back tucks, you're gonna be cool. I'm out.